Papua New Guinea, like many countries, carries national debt. This debt often sparks concern, but is it always a bad thing? Not necessarily. The size of the debt itself doesn't tell the whole story. We need to look at how easily PNG can manage it. To understand this, think of it like a personal loan. A large loan might seem scary, but if you have a well-paying job, it's manageable. The same applies to countries. A large economy can handle more debt than a smaller one. What matters is whether PNG's economy can handle its debt. This is where the debt to GDP ratio comes in. Think of GDP as the country's income. The debt to GDP ratio compares what PNG owes to what it earns. A healthy ratio means the country can comfortably manage its debt. The debt to GDP ratio is a key indicator of a country's economic health. It tells us how much a country owes compared to its economic output. A high ratio can raise concerns, while a lower ratio suggests better debt sustainability. Imagine a friend borrowing 10,000 keen. If they earn 20,000 keen a year, that's a 50% debt to income ratio, a bit high. But if they earn 100,000 keen, it's only 10% much more manageable. PNG's debt to GDP ratio has been a topic of discussion. Some express concern, but it's important to compare it with other countries to get a clearer picture. When we compare PNG's debt-to-GDP ratio to other nations, a different picture emerges. In 2023, PNG's ratio was around 52%. This might seem high, but it's actually lower than many developed countries. For instance, the United States had a debt-to-GDP ratio exceeding 100%, while Japan's was over 250%. Even closer to home, Fiji's ratio was higher than PNG's. This shows that PNG's debt situation is not as dire as some might think. Furthermore, the PNG government has been actively working to reduce its borrowing. This commitment to fiscal responsibility is a positive sign for the country's economic future. PNG's declining borrowing trend. Contrary to some perceptions, PNG's government has been steadily reducing its borrowing by 1 billion kina each year in recent years. This proactive approach demonstrates a commitment to fiscal responsibility and long-term economic stability. This responsible approach aims to ease the debt burden and secure a more sustainable financial future. This commitment to reducing borrowing coupled with a growing economy creates a favourable environment for managing and eventually reducing the debt-to-GDP ratio. A growing economy, the key to debt management. One of the most effective ways to manage debt is to grow the economy. As PNG's economy grows, so does its GDP. And as we learned, a larger GDP makes the debt more manageable. Imagine a restaurant with a 100,000 kina loan. If they serve 100 customers a day, it's a challenge. But if they expand, serve 500, that loan seems smaller, more customers, more income, easier to handle the debt. PNG's economy is growing. This growth combined with reduced borrowing puts the country on a path towards a healthier debt-to-GDP ratio. A sustainable future for PNG. PNG's national debt is a topic that requires careful consideration, not just alarm. While the debt exists, the government's commitment to reducing borrowing and fostering economic growth paints a positive picture. The government's goal is to completely stop borrowing by 2027. This ambitious target, if achieved, would mark a significant milestone in PNG's journey towards a more sustainable and prosperous future. PNG, like any country, faces economic challenges. However, by focusing on responsible borrowing, economic growth and long-term sustainability, the country is taking significant strides towards a brighter future. Remember, it's not just about the size of the debt, but the ability to manage it effectively. And on that front, PNG is moving in the right direction. Remember, it's not just about how much you do know, but whether your pay packet can afford it. PNG can afford its debt because the size of its economy, GDP, is growing.